WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida. It's Monday, 9 a.m. Eastern Time, 30 minutes to go until the trading day. We got markets in the red by just a bit right now. Dow futures negative 30 points, trading at 27,984. S&P negative by three, trading at 3142. NASDAQ futures negative by 13 points, trading at 8386. Got oil pulling back a bit off 78 cents at 5842. 10-year bond off a bit and yield 1.81%. We'll start it off Monday morning. We'll jump over to the VIX, 1438 as we look to start the week on the volatility index. Quite a week yes, last week, going from a high early when the market was having negative action to 1799. We had a 13 handle on Friday. 1438 to start off that week. Jumping over to the charts. Whoops, excuse me. There we go. We'll start things off with the indices. NASDAQ 100, 8387, almost made it up to 8400 briefly early this morning, just off those highs a bit. There's your S&P 500, 3142. We were above 3145 briefly on a couple occasions, about 6 a.m. and also at 3 a.m. overnight. Dow 30, 27,987. We were up there about 20 points, 30 points higher at one point overnight as well. Crude oil, as I mentioned, backing off a bit. You have crude down about 78 cents on the session right now, even a little bit more. You see the acceleration. You back things up to Friday. We're actually above $59, currently trading almost a dollar off those highs at 58.29. There's your gold contract, trading higher a bit overnight. You back things up to the volatility we had last week on trade. Optimism in the market, market trading higher, higher gold trading lower, 1469, the price of February gold, and the euro trading a bit higher. We have some dollar weakness, euro trading at 110.76. In terms of what else you have happening in the market, the big news that's going to be happening this week is, of course, the China tariffs set to go in on Sunday. That's an extra $150 billion that they'll be putting on consumer goods. Speculation is, Trump been trying to make a deal. Hopefully a deal gets done and no tariffs get put in place. That's Sunday, so the market will be looking towards that. In terms of other movers out there, jumping around to some of the stocks that had some big moves even last week. Apple, quite a week. You check things out, 256 over to 271 just last week alone, currently trading at 269.97 to start off the week a bit on the lower side. Stay tuned, folks. we got a man, Larry Pesavento, coming up live right now with Trade What You See. I'll be back at 10 o'clock with Tom. Of course, Fast Market, Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes, Dave White, Tom O'Brien, all this afternoon. Stay tuned, folks. We'll be right back.